The five highest mountain ranges in the U.S. Number 5. Mount Blackburn. Also located within Wrangell, St. Elias National Park in Alaska is Mount Blackburn, standing at 16,390 feet. That makes it the fifth highest peak in the U.S. and the highest peak in Alaska's Wrangell Mountains. In 1912, George Handy and Dora Keene summit its eastern side, completing the historic climb without guides. The eastern peak of the mountain didn't see another climber until almost 70 years later, when Jerry Roach made a second ascent in 1977. Since the mountain is so close to the Gulf of Alaska, it experiences some of the worst weather in North America, a combination of frequent storms, inaccessibility, and its remote location has resulted in less than 50 summit attempts over the last 30 years. Number 4. Mount Bona Mount Bona in eastern Alaska stretches 16,421 feet and is part of the St. Elias Mountains. The stratovolcano is believed to have had its last volcanic eruption in 847 AD and is now home to a vast expanse of glaciers and ice fields. In fact, the state's oldest glacier ever recorded was recovered from a basin between Mount Bona and Mount Churchill dated to be about 30,000 years old. The mountain provides an important source of ice for both the Klutland Glacier, which flows into Canada's Yukon Territory, and the nearby Russell Glacier system. Since it is almost completely covered in ice, climbers on Mount Bona are rare. Number 3. Mount Farraker Located in the Central Alaska Range, the 17,400-foot Mount Farraker is the third highest peak in the U.S. Its native names are Sultana, meaning the woman, and Minlail, meaning Denali's wife. In 1899, a U.S. lieutenant dubbed it Mount Farraker after fellow U.S. lieutenant and then Ohio Senator Joseph B. Farraker. It was first climbed in August 1934 by Charles Houston T. Graham Brown and Chichley Waterston. Today, the peak sees far fewer climbers than its neighbor, Denali. Because the paths to climb both are included in one permit, most mountaineers opt for the more famous of the two. Number 2. Mount St. Elias The second tallest mountain in the U.S. rises 18,008 feet on the Yukon, Canada, and Alaska border inside Wrangell St. Elias National Park and Preserve, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The park is the largest national park in the U.S., encompassing more than 13 million acres, the same size as Yellowstone National Park, Yosemite National Park, and the country of Switzerland combined. This park houses numerous plants and animals, but also the fossilized remains of many organisms. Mount St. Elias Tlingit name is Yatsitasha. The first ascent of it was completed in 1897 by a team led by the Duke of Abruzzi. These days, the mountain is mostly used for skiing, as it has one of the longest ski runs in the world. Number 1. Denali Denali, no longer called by its colonial name, Mount McKinley, means the tall one in the native Alaskan language. While it's widely accepted, as the U.S.'s highest peak, its exact measurement has been debated since the late 1800s. To set the record straight, an advanced survey expedition team set out in 2015 with the latest GPS equipment and geoid models, determining its height as 20,310 feet. This has become the most widely accepted measurement today. Denali is located inside the Denali Biosphere Reserve and National Park in south-central Alaska, within the northern boreal forest biome known for housing at least 39 mammals, including grizzly bears, gray wolves, and moose. According to the National Park's mountaineering summaries, between 1,000 and 1,300 permits are issued to U.S. and international climbers every year.